Hey everyone, welcome back to Kenshi. We're playing as Tank Face again today. He is almost ready to seek his revenge against the Southern Hive for taking out his squad mates from the Western Hive. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, now that I see there's a roaming band of hungry bandits, uh, this is a great opportunity to keep training with Tank Face's heavy weapon. So let's go ahead and say hello. Let's see how he does. It's our old friends, the hungry bandits. nearly a hundred points of damage per swing against these guys. Let's see if his strength is being trained. Oh, it is definitely gaining strength using the heavy cleaver, or the long cleaver. There we go. Alright, all in all, not a bad showing for Tank Face. It's 30 against 1, or roughly 30 against 1. Alright. First thing we need to do is get some crossbow bolts so we can head down to Sonorous Dark, or Sonorous Dark, and get ourselves a peeling machine. So let's head uh, south. And I think we'll head over to the um, Flats Lagoon, I believe it's called. We'll pick up some crossbow bolts there. Okay, it looks like we're going to go ahead and get into another fight. Pretty small group, so we'll make short work of them. There's another big group, so we should probably take an opportunity and train with the big weapons again. drop our backpack into the inventory just to get our boost that we need. Alright. Some much needed experience with our cleaver and we'll be back on our way. So it's a perfect time of day to cross um, this area of the map. Uh, we do not want to be there in the daytime. Uh, Venge will surely give you some problems in the daytime. 
from the previous civilization, there are lasers shooting down from the sky from an old piece of war tech that is still operating. So we have to cross this area bench at night. And we do want to avoid the roaming bands of thralls, which are skeletons without heads. They will slow you down and you'll be stuck here in the daytime. Now oh, there are blood spiders here as well. Not good. Let's let these thralls get out of the way. Uh, surprisingly we didn't get attacked. I think it is because we are at night and their perception is pretty low since they don't have heads. Alright, let's head down to Flats Lagoon before it's daytime, which is at 5.30 a.m. and it's currently 4.40, so got a little bit of time left to get out of here. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and stock up on crossbow bolts and maybe even some eagles cross bolts or long bolts and we'll head down to get our peeler machine okay so that's about all we can afford not sure if this is going to be enough So I think we will have to grind a little bit here for some money, grab some more crossbow bolts, and head back out. So we are looking for a outpost to raid. Oh shoot. Okay, this could end badly. And we have beak things on us and we don't have a good way of dealing with them. And we are pretty far from civilization. Let's try some crossbow work. This could end very badly for Tank Face. Uh, luckily our armor is incredibly tough. And we're just going to kite these guys around a bit. If it was just one, we could, uh, we could handle them, but with three, with three it's a little bit dicey. Especially if they hit Tank Face's head. Let's keep running, tank face. See what these guys have for health. Yeah, they're still pretty decent in terms of their health. We want to whittle down their health a bit more. Okay, 
so we got one down. Probably lost a lot of blood. Okay, we don't want that to happen. Let's go ahead and loot this one. Looting this one just so that we can kill him by skinning him. So we don't have to worry about him getting back up. And what is this? I oh, have a bone dog coming from the nomads to eat the. Uh, so if you're from the nomads, where are the nomads? Oh, here we are. Maybe they'll come to our rescue. Not that we really need it, but it would be nice. There we are. Oh, now we have uh, some bandits here as well. Let's see if we can help them out. Tank face. Let's see if we can take out this big thing. It's really doing a lot of damage. There we go. Let's go ahead and loot the animals so they can't get back up. Shot this guy in mid jump kick. That was fantastic. All right, not too bad, all in all. Oh, these guys can heal themselves. Let's make sure they don't do that. All right, so I think most of these guys can no longer heal themselves. Let's go ahead and just dump all these low quality bandages and we'll be on our way alright so we are coming up on the crumbling labs for those of you who don't know this is a pretty tough area only because this massive gorilla monster here is a really hard enemy to uh, take on solo and we're gonna see if we can get to um, the lab I think there's going to be quite a few security spiders inside because we need all the speed we can get. I believe a good alternative here is to store my armor in my backpack so that I can run a little faster. Eighteen miles an hour, not ideal, but it is better than the alternative of running a little too slow. Okay, so it does not look like there are any security spiders here on the bottom floor. Top floor, we do have some. 
actually this is the second floor. And we'll probably have some up here as well. Yep, two at the top. That's totally fine, we can do this. Uh, let's go ahead and aggravate the first. Okay, we're going to bring two down with us. too much damage. We do need to get out of their way though. They are pretty dangerous. And this crossbow just takes quite a while to load. Come on tank face. his circuitry so that he does not get back up. Once again, it is kind of a cheesy way to uh, fight these guys, but uh, when you're running just one character, it's kind of unavoidable if you want to survive. Okay, he nailed Tank Face in the head for 32 points of damage. Let's not let him do that again. Let's go ahead and loot this guy. Oh, that's worth some money. Let's drop these on the floor. There we go. Okay. Alright. Number two goes down. See if there's any loot down here on the bottom floor. Usually not. But you never know. Anything worth my time down here on the bottom floor. Let's try the center. Don't really see too much here. Okay, so we're going to have two more spiders to deal with. Okay, it looks like both of them are going to come after me. Okay, let's go outside. Oh. Wow. Without that chest armor on, I take a lot of damage. That was one hit. Took over a quarter of Tank Face's chest health. Uh, let's go ahead and heal while we're here. Okay, let's go around this way. Load that crossbow. You know, what I could do is I could put on my armor that helps with crossbows. There we go. I 
think I have a 10% bonus to my crossbow skill with the ninja rags on, which is pretty good. Especially at night when it's, I think you do get a debuff to your accuracy at night with ranged weapons. I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. Almost got hit there. Come on, tank face. Drop him. Actually, I'm kind of interested to see how my Eagle's Cross does. Uh, we're going to have to switch our ammo out. We'll just do 10 rounds. And see how we do. This is going to take a while to load, but every shot should be devastating. Oh yeah, 73 damage. Oh, almost got hit there. Ooh, 100 damage to his leg. One shot. Pretty lucky not getting hit. Waiting a little bit too long. Let's see if this guy's dead. One of these guys is knocked out, but not dead. Okay, he's dying because of the Eagle's Cross. Did so much damage to him. Okay. That's good. Stomach. I think we got him. Yep. Just as he was going to strike us. Okay, he's dead. Got his skeletal limb. He's dead. And got skeletal muscles. Worth quite a bit of money. And now we have free reign to loot the entire outpost. So let's see what we have at the top. Alright, we just got two tools which will help us open things that we're not skilled enough to open. That was pretty lucky. Oh, we got three. We might need all three of these. Training up Tank Face's lockpick skill as well. Alright. Okay, so nothing we really need here. I'm not having a lot of luck so far. Okay, let's use the tools on this one. safe. Let's hope there's something good in here. Oh yeah. Jackpot. So these CPU units are only one kilogram in weight and they are worth nearly 6,000 cats. So we just hit the jackpot. We'll be able to get plenty of arrows for our trip down to Sonorous Dark with this loot. boxes in the middle. Oh great, more books. Usually we would keep these, but we're not going to be doing research this playthrough. Uh, what did I 
just dropped my bag? There it is. Okay. Scared me there for a second, it just disappeared. <laughs> okay. about it for those boxes. We have enough tools, but we'll grab it just in case we need it. Alright. Oh, nothing of use. That's okay. Okay. Not much going on there. That. So let's use tools. All right, more uh, valuable loot. We have quite a bit more valuable loot here. This will buy us plenty of equipment back in town. It is going to weigh us down quite a bit, but um, we're just going to chance it. Let's put some of these tools back. Okay. These are worth 2,000. These are worth two. How much is this? Sways two. Sways one. Okay, I think we're okay. Let's switch our eagles cross back up. So far, so good. So we are over encumbered 46%. We're going to go ahead and make our way back to town in the next video. And that'll wrap it up for this one. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you in the next one. Take care.